Saturday. This one is Rotation 205-206. The RoofClaim.com. Boca Raton Bowl. App State laying three to Western Kentucky on a total of 68. My goodness. I don't I, I have no idea. Are you gonna bet on this game? Oh, you betcha, buddy. You betcha. And let me uh let me let me give the fans out here a little, little prop. Um on FanDuel, at least on FanDuel New Jersey, you can bet on the highest scoring bowl games, excluding the college football playoff final. I would put a little bit of money on this game, Appalachian State and Western Kentucky being the highest scoring bowl game this season. Um, that's that's it's paying now twelve to one on uh, FanDuel so, Sportsbook. So the Mountaineers kind of do it with defense. I would have thought the Mountaineers to come to this game with intent to control the pace. They they run the football very very effectively. Western Kentucky cannot stop the run. They allowed Sincere McCormick to rush for almost 200 yards in the first half of the mm-hmm. conference championship game. Appalachian yeah. State, quote unquote, can do it with defense, but Western Kentucky, um, you know, uh, has I, I don't know where they rank in terms of pass. I mean, the the, the offense ranks in terms of uh, offensive um, EPA, or where Bailey Zappi ranks in um, uh, offensive passing EPA. But in those metrics, they're they're one of the top. Uh, teams in the country no, and consider the top or to be like a top fifteen offense. Like yes, they, they, they are. I, yes. Yeah. And I think if Bailey Zappi scores four or five touchdowns in this bowl game, he would beat or tie Joe Burrow's record for the most touchdowns in a college football uh, season. So they, they're they're going to be pushing pedal to the metal in this game. So I, I'm I will be betting the over and putting a couple bucks on Appalachian State uh, versus Western Kentucky as the highest scoring bowl game, um, excluding the college football playoff um, at twelve to one. I will also be taking a similar bet on Virginia versus um, SMU, but that's eight to one. Now, here's my thing, though. What if App State jumps out? What if App State just jumps out to a 14th and leave? Then they just turn out to have a very salty defense. And it's just like the fucking offers get barely to cross midfield. In other words, maybe the smoothest bet is to parlay Mountaineer in the under. Um, I don't really think they actually do it with defense. I think they just play some, they play a lot of teams this year who offensively are, uh, are subcromulent, if you will. Like, okay, they played ECU, they let ECU score nine points on them. Um, they played Miami, they lost that game, but that was really early in the season. Okay, they played Elon. Marshall was probably their toughest opponent in this early stretch. Uh, <clears throat> Marshall scored 30 points. Then they played UL, uh, UL Lafayette, and they got creamed. Coastal Carolina uh, put 27 points on them. ULM put up 28 points on them in a route, 59 to 28. Um, and then played at Arkansas State, who was one of the worst teams in the country last year. Then South Alabama Jaguars, they only scored seven points. Troy, who eventually fired their coach, would only score seven points. Georgia Southern, um, who fired their coach, scored only three points. Um, if they had the, such a stout defense, I mean, um, they probably would have given ULL uh, much more trouble in, in both of those games that they played. Um, I just think that they've played really crappy teams as opposed to having a, a stout defense. Historically, they have. Yeah. Um, and they're probably you know, um, near the average, um, in the country, they're, they're not a bad defense, but I don't think it, they're, they're a truly stout squad, but yes. I mean, so anyway, I, mean, honestly, I, I, I will be above average, there. but like, yeah, yeah, they're definitely above average, but I take your point. I'm kind of giving them the sort of like your yeah, recent reputational shit. Like that's not yeah. necessarily true. And your argument for the over makes sense. Yeah, they they might it. be like rank 50 something or 40 something in, in terms of defense. So sure. Above average. Okay. Fine. Yeah. 
Um, I have been to Boca. It's fine. I would definitely say if you're coming from Bowling Green, Kentucky, and Boone, North Carolina, it's probably really fun. There's there's like one long strip um, that there's all these bars and restaurants, and then you go to the beach. Um, it's probably a, a really fun uh, trip. And you also have to remember these um, that that tornado went through Bowling Green. Uh, so these kids are probably going to uh, really enjoy having a little bit of a respite way on the beach. Oh, shit. That's, yeah. Okay. And that makes for a lack of focus and preparation, which tends, that tends to help overs too. Like a disorganized game goes over. Yeah. And then at, at halftime, you know, they say, oh, we, we got to do it for the folks back home. Really push the pedal to the metal. That's also right. Mm-hmm. All right. I dig it. Rolling on ahead. Rotation 209 210. Player Unknown Battleground, New Mexico Bowl. <laughs> that's a video game bag. Thank God that's a video game. <laughs> <laughs> please, I mean, please don't let it be a restaurant. It's Texas El Paso <laughs> taking on Fresno State. And, and wouldn't you know it, Bulldogs are laying 11.5 on the total of 51.5. I mean, I would only lay it, but also I doubt I'm actually out of pocket, right? I would bet on this. What do you think? I I don't think I could possibly bet on this uh, because so Jake Hayner, the quarterback for Fresno State, he said he was going in the transfer portal, and then and then he said he's coming back. <laughs> <coughs> so I think I think there's some they still haven't announced who's starting uh, for this bowl game. So I think there's some um, some chaos um, afoot, some controversy. And uh, if we don't know who the starting quarterback is, then um, this is this is a problematic to, to bet on. Um, UTEP has a really good defense, but you know they, they can't score a lot of points. Um, you know they. Let's see here real quick. Actually, wait a minute. El Paso's in West Texas, isn't it? El Paso so is should, in West Texas. So we should yeah. just be assuming this is a semi-home game for the Miners. We should just take the points, right? Um. Okay. They have not scored mm, more than... Okay, except for this game versus Rice, they haven't scored more than... 26 points since October 9th. 19 points versus La Tech. 25 points in a loss to FAU. 23 points in a loss to UTSA. 17 yeah, points in a loss to North Texas. Uh, then they then they beat Rice. And then at UAB, 42 and, and uh, only scoring t- 25 points in, in that contest. I'd say... The reason why we bet UTEP over three three wins this year is because how weak the beginning of their season was, and indeed it was, beating New, New Mexico State, Bethune Cookman, New Mexico, ODU, Southern Miss, and La Tech um, with ease. But this is not a good program. <laughs> okay, this is as this is a team that's that that's the best that they've been in almost a decade. But that this is this game's a total stay away. Um, you, you know what? Yeah, sometimes, yeah, sometimes it's crazy to bet a game, right? Like you gotta know something about this shit to bet on it. Yeah. Like, yeah. Like, yeah. this is a stay away. All right. Fair enough. Next one up. Rotation two one one two one two. The Radiance Technologies Independence Bowl. It's UAB taking on BYU. The Cougs are laying six and a half, seven, depending on where you look. A total of fifty five. And, I mean, it feels like a trap line. Like, I kind of want to take the Blazers. Because, like, why are they making it t- so easy to lay it with BYU? What does Radiance Technologies make? Um, I was thinking that they were um, competitors of Bright House. So I was thinking they make cable boxes and stuff like that. Uh, they make equipment for, it appears... Um military systems uh and for predator drones <laughs> <laughs> i do think they are this 
cable box. <laughs> it's like every single fucking bowl game, either for the military industrial complex or like for filing your taxes. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. I, I'm actually curious now. I actually want to know what the numbers are, like what the recruiting numbers are, because I bet you these bowl games do have a predictable haul of recruits, don't they? It's probably like pretty fucking sick. Um, yeah, this is this is a game that I think you have to bet UAB on because I keep thinking, I keep thinking like, no, this is ridiculous. BYU is unequivocally the better team, but is that really true? Is that really true? I mean, they went five and zero in the Pac-12 South, but that's that's before like Utah got their shit together. Um, this right. is they a got, really they good a lot of team for winning the Holy War before Utah had their quarterback. They went, yeah, they lost to Rising. That's a fact. Yeah, but the, and, you know they did lose to the the to Boise State and then the 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 Big Twelve championship winner Baylor. So I mean, they're not a. <clears throat> They're not a bad team, but why is this only seven points? This should be more. I, I would say this we is know, probably, you'd think this right. is ten we're, and a half. No, we're supposed to respect UAB as done. The Blazers have played fine this season. Perfectly fine. And you know something? Birmingham is probably not that endless a drive to Shreveport. I bet you there's going to be a, as many fans as they can get there will go there. Oh, yeah. It can't be that long of a drive. Yeah, like I mean, I mean, well, I mean, Shreveport is by Texas, right? It's a it's a away from Bama, right? But I mean, it's worth it to these fuckers, right? Surely, come on, they don't do anything. Let's How often do they get out of town? Like, I bet, I bet you, their idea of getting out of town is to drive down to Mobile and gamble a little. Like, um, it's a good trip to Shreveport. It's it's a it's actually a drive. It's almost seven hours. Mm, but enough. still, it's it's closer. Than um, Salt Lake City, but I mean those fuckers are rich. Like they're gonna fucking fly and then like take an eight hundred dollar Uber ride from the airport <laughs> <laughs> from Dallas yeah, like fucking from Nola, like 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 <laughs> just bosses, like Mormon mafia. You can't fuck with Mormon mafia. They're 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 good to go. Anyway, I mean, it's just, yeah, it feels so trappy. Like, I don't want to get out the Blazers, but I know for a fact that betting BYU is, is it's wrong. It is the wrong side. <clears throat> we have to give out UAB. <clears throat> Excuse me. I got a little. Are either of us going to be in the pocket on this team now? Why are we giving out a Neither of us is going to bet on. <laughs> Maybe yeah, we'll that that's a fa- that's a that's a fair point. I I mean, <clears throat> I feel like I'm gonna have to bet a little bit on 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 most of these games, you know. Right, and we, we probably could end up because I mean, this is still on Saturday. Probably, yeah. Let's throw it on the I, I'm gonna I'm gonna end up yeah. I'm gonna end up betting on BYU, but UAB is the right oh side. My fucking God, we just talked about this. Why are you gonna bet on the Cougars? I, I exactly I exactly but I, I have to I just have to, I respect their season I respect their season no you got to and I mean it's a crew of grown men coming to town I mean yeah yeah it's no you got to respect them like yeah mm. I, I got I, I got to respect this season all right all right we'll leave it we'll leave it unselected I yeah I might find myself on UAB plus the seven that could work let's go head to head I'm all wrong right, but let's go head to head all right, let, all right then, let's do it. All right, at the seven, we got a deal, my friend. And the next one up, 